the objective of this lesson is to be able to connect those boxes that I see in my stack chart to the next one through a line or any other methodology. So let me show you how to do this. If you click on this graph and you click on the plus, you don't see any option for lines, but Excel has a little secret. If you click on it and click on chart design, add chart element, suddenly you see the line and you can click on it and you get the line. Now, once you do this, you click on the line, you right click, you do format data series and you get this. So now I can change, for example, I want to make it like this, change the style, I can do it. And this is how you add lines. So that's the easy one. If you want to do a more sophisticated method, and I don't know if it looks nicer or not, uh, it's up to you. I will show you how to do it. So let's remove the lines. So I click on them, then I press delete on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna select my data, then Control C to copy my data. Then you come here on the chart, you click on paste under home, paste special. And yes, you can paste special data in a chart directly. So I do new series, value Y in, it's in the rows, it's here, the values that you can see here. Series name in first column, yes, I have this, I want to name them like this. And then category X labels in the first row. So this is my first row. This is my X label, yes. So I say, okay. And then Excel, create the double of my data. So you see, for example, 251, 251, and so on. Because Excel thinks that I want to add data. And you can see at the bottom, I have carrot, apple, and banana again. Now we're gonna transform this into a stacked area chart. So we click on the chart, right click, and then we do change chart type. We go to combo. In combo, each one of the series, we have to select what we want it to be. So instead of line for the new ones, I'm gonna select stacked area. And this is stacked area for the three. Instead of clustered column, I'm gonna use stacked column and the other two are automatically done. So once we click, you can see that my three series added are gone and now they are in the background. Obviously, it's still very ugly. So we're gonna fix it. The first thing I want to do is I click on this. I can click on the font white just to have this in white. Next thing I need to fix this. So again, if this is closed, you click on it, right click format data series. Now this is here. What we're gonna do is we can change the color if we want, or we can change, for example, transparency, whatever it is. So the fill, for example, is a bit too uh, heavy. So I'm gonna choose something that is lighter. So I can do more colors and then I can choose something that is lighter. And as you can see, this is lighter. I can also change my transparency if I want to, but I'm gonna just keep it like this. Gonna do the same for this one. So this one is an orange color. So I'm clicking on it, then I do more colors and then I'm gonna have a lighter orange if I can. So I say, okay, this is a lighter orange. And then this is gray. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna select gray. Then I click again, more colors, and then I select a lighter gray. So as you can see, I transform my chart into this chart and I'm connecting the different blocks that you have in your stack chart. Which one is the best, is the nicest? I'll let you decide. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna do is just, I need to remove those extra legends because those are my real legends. So I'm going to click here, click inside, press delete, click on the legend, click inside, press delete, and I'll do it a third time. And here we go. 